Hi, welcome to Yoga in My Garage with Patty Lewis. I'm Patty Lewis, and today's practice will be a short ish flow practice. If you have some props, if you have blocks, you could grab your blocks. If you have a blanket, you could grab that. If you don't have blocks, what could you use in your house? It could be dictionaries or just any old books. Maybe they're the same size. That might be helpful. You could grab a blanket or a pillow, which you might use for your knees. Um, and then we'll get started. So let's start sitting on our shins. And as with all that we do today, if this doesn't work for you, maybe you sit and cross your shins in a cross-legged position. Find a comfortable place to start, to pause, and to let your eyes close, or soften your gaze and look down towards the floor. So starting by stopping and notice your breath. So you might be breathing through your nose, your mouth in your nose, or just your mouth. Your breath might be fast, it might be slow. You might feel your breath in your chest, in your belly. Is it possible to notice and not decide that anything is wrong, that you should be doing it differently. Staying with your breath, let's take your next inhale in through your nose and maybe you fill the belly and open wide, exhale out through your mouth. Two more of those. So the inhale comes in through your nose, maybe you fill the belly, maybe you notice your chest lift. Open wide to exhale out. One more of those, inhaling in through the nose, that sense of filling up. Open wide, that sense of exhale, letting go. And then let your lips touch, inhale in and out through the nose. And if at any point this becomes difficult or you feel anxious breathing in and out through the nose, let it go. Just let your breath be. You can come back to it. You might leave it for today. We're using our breath as a point of focus. And maybe your breath becomes even in and out through your nose. Maybe as you take your next exhale, there's a place to release in your face, between the eyebrows, maybe the sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders. And then as you take your next inhale, maybe you find some length up through the very top of your head, what we call the crown of your head. Exhaling all the breath out. And if your eyes were closed, you can let your eyes open and make your way to your hands and knees. So come into what we call tabletop, hands shoulder distance, shoulders over your wrists, knees, hips distanced underneath your hips. And then as you take your next breath in, move your chest forward into the cow pose. Exhale, round into the cat. So your head drops, your tailbone drops. Inhale, lead you into the cow. Maybe you feel your shoulder blades move towards your spine. Exhale, rounding, press your hands. Maybe you feel your navel, lower belly lift. Inhaling into the cow. Exhale, round into the cat. And inhale, come into center. And then straighten your right leg back. Press the palm, straighten your left leg back. You're in plank and then shift into downward facing dog. Now it might be the first downward dog of the day for you. You could step your feet wider than your hips. You could shift your weight one side to the other side. You could pedal your feet, bend one knee, release the other heel to the floor and switch sides. As you exhale, switch sides. So using the breath to move on. And as you exhale, switch sides. 
And then as you exhale up, both heels release any amount towards the floor. It might help to bend your knees a little. Press more through the hands. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, come back down to your hands and knees. Find tabletop. And then inhale, move the chest forward, shoulder blades towards your spine. Exhale, rounding into the cat, shoulder blades away from your spine. Inhale, moving into the cow. Exhale, round you into the cat, the navel, the lower belly lifts. Inhale, move your chest forward into the cow. Exhale, press the hands and round into the cat. Inhale, move into center. Straighten the left leg back. Press the palms, straighten your right leg back. So plank pose and then press your hands, lift your hips. Shifts you into downward dog. Now maybe you keep your legs hips distance. You might pedal your feet. You might be still and bend your knees. Can you gaze back? Might be between your toes, between your knees. Pausing in downward dog if you're still moving. And go to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. It might be through the nose. See if it can be even. Inhales, even exhales. And then inhale pulls you forward into plank. So your shoulders are over your wrists. Exhale shifts you back into downward dog. Inhale pulls you forward into plank. Your legs could be straight. You can put your knees on the floor. Exhale shift into downward dog. Inhale, pulls you forward into plank, pause. Press your hands. If your legs are straight, press your thighs up, and you can also have your knees down on the floor. So lift the navel, lift the lower belly. Take a breath in here. And then as you exhale, we're lowering to the belly. So let the elbows bend and come slowly down onto your belly. You're not collapsing. Bring the tops of your feet to the floor. And then inhale, lift your chest. So cobra, shoulder blades towards your spine like the cow. Exhale, back down. Inhale, a sense of getting longer. Lift up into cobra, a low cobra, low bhujangasana. Exhale, back down. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. Pause here. You might choose to stay here, reach the legs back, draw the shoulder blades a little more towards your spine, feel your chest move forward. You might press your hands, lift your chest, lift your thighs, upward facing dog. And then on the exhale, press your hands, lift your hips, shift into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Sanskrit. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, let your knees bend. Walk your feet towards your hands. Keep your feet hips distance. We're hanging over the legs. Take a little bend in your knees, releasing your head, releasing your torso towards the floor. You could clasp your elbows. You could just release your hands. And then if you're clasping your elbows, switch the forearm that's forward. And then releasing your arms, tuck your chin a little towards your chest and roll yourself up through your spine. You're standing at the top of your mat. Tadasana, mountain pose. So keep the feet hips distanced. You can release your arms down by your side. And the sense that your gaze is out on the horizon, maybe a tiny bit higher. Your chin is parallel to the floor. Breathing in here. Exhaling out here. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Keep the arms shoulder distance. Exhale, fold over your legs to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up. Ardha Uttanasana. Slide your hands to the sides of your shins. And exhale back to your legs. And then inhale, come all the way up. Reach the arms overhead. And exhale, the arms come down, your back in Tadasana, in mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs to the floor. Inhale, lifting your chest. 
I have long arms, so my hands come to the floor. <laughs> Exhale, fold over yours, might not. And then press down, inhale, come all the way up, reach the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, release your arms down. One more, inhale, the arms lift. As you exhale, you fold over your legs to the floor. As you inhale, let your chest lift. Your hands might slide up your shins. You can leave your hands on the floor too. Exhale, folding back into your legs. And then it's your in-breath that brings you all the way up. Reach the arms overhead. Exhaling your arms down. Finding Tadasana, mountain pose. And going on, we'll take Surya Namaskara A, inhaling your arms lift. As you exhale, fold up and over your legs to the floor, hands on your shins or maybe the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the floor, step your right leg back and then your left, you're in plank. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, shoulders shift a little forward, bend the elbows. You could lower to your belly or stop halfway. Tops of the feet to the floor, inhale, lift into a cobra or an up dog. And then exhale, shifts you into downward facing dog. Pause here, notice your breath. Notice where you're looking. Sometimes the eyes move all around our space and then the mind wanders all around. Maybe you can settle your gaze as you keep your breath steady. And then end of your next exhale, allow the knees to bend and walk your feet towards your hands. You could keep your feet hips distance or bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, lifts your chest. As you exhale, you fold into your legs. And then the inhale brings you all the way up. Reach your arms to the ceiling. You might even lift your chest, touch the palms and gaze up. Exhaling, your arms come down. Inhale, lifts your arms. It's your exhale that folds you over your legs to the floor. Inhale, lifts your chest up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the floor. Left leg goes back and then the right into plank. Pause in plank, take a breath in. Slightly shift your shoulders forward. Exhale can take you to chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, lifting into up dog or to cobra. Exhale into downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out evenly. And then at the end of your next exhale, allow your knees to bend and walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, lifts your chest. Exhale, fold you into your legs. Come all the way up as you breathe and reach your arms overhead. Exhaling your arms down. I'm going to use my blocks for the next section. You might just want your blocks nearby. You can use them or not. And this time as you inhale, bend your knees and reach your arms up. So chair pose, Utkatasana, pause here. And then fold over your legs, Uttanasana. I'm using my blocks. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step your right leg back and then your left. Come into plank. And then shift right into downward dog. And then from here, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee towards your chest. Step the right foot between your hands. Lower the back left heel to the floor. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh, your left hand on your left hip. Pause here. So fairly deep bend in your front right knee. Moves out over the middle of your front foot. Reach the outside of the back foot to the floor. And then inhale, we'll lift the shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms out, right arm forward, left arm back. Look out past your right fingers. Warrior two, otherwise known as Virabhadrasana B. Warrior two. So right arm extending forward, left arm extending back. Your shoulders are over your hips. Your breath is steady. There might be a little more weight in your front right heel. Keep your front thigh shifting a little more, little toe side of the foot. 
And then go ahead and take your back left arm. You could bring it behind your back. You could bring it down to the left leg. Inhale, the right arm lifts up. And then exhale, right forearm on the thigh or right hand on your block. Reach your left arm alongside your ear. Trying to draw the front right buttock bone under as you press your left thigh straight. Take a breath in here. Exhale, drop the top hand down, lift the back heel up, look forward, and then step your back foot up to meet your front. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold into your legs, and then bend the knees. Your heels are heavy, reach your arms up. You come back to chair pose, and then straighten the legs. Release your arms down, you're in Tadasana. You can stay where you are. I'm going to face you for this next pose, which is tree pose. Start with your big toes together. Bring your hands to your hips so you can really feel where your hips move or want to move. Come up on the ball of your right foot and then rotate your right leg open. The right hip generally wants to keep moving to the right. We want to keep the hips pointed forward. And then where does your right foot go? You can leave it the ball of the foot on the floor, you could bring the foot to your shin. You could use your hand, bring your right foot all the way to the top of your left thigh. You want to keep the hips pointed forward. Keep drawing your right buttock bone under, and maybe you reach your arms up. You also might be in front of a wall and have your hands on a wall. You might have one hand on the wall. What do you need today? for tree pose, vrikshasana, that allows you to keep your breath steady as your body is steady. Take another breath in here, and then exhale, come out of the pose. I'm switching directions just so I stay facing you. Come back to Tadasana, top of your mat, feet together or hips distanced, and then as you inhale, start to bend your knees and reach your arms up. Come into chair pose. And then fold over your legs. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your left leg back and then your right. You're in plank. Pause here. Somebody might want to come from plank into up dog on the blocks. And exhale into downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up off the floor. Keep the hips even. I didn't say this on the other side. Exhale, bring your knee towards your chest. Step the left foot between your hands. Lower your back right heel to the floor. Left forearm on your left thigh, right hand on your right hip, and you pause. So right here, you press a little more weight in your front left heel. Draw your left buttock bone under. Press the back thigh straight. And then strong legs, lift your shoulders over your hips, reach your arms out, looking out at the front left fingers, warrior two. Breathing in here. Is there a place to release as you exhale? Maybe in the face, maybe in the tops of the shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. So a sense of using your breath to keep your attention, your awareness on your mat, using your body where your body is in space to help keep your focus on your mat. And then take your right arm behind your back or to your back leg, inhale, left arm up to the ceiling, to the mat behind you. And then exhale, forearm can come to your thigh again or your hand can come to your block. Reach your right arm alongside your ear. Draw the left buttock bone under. Press the back thigh straight. And exhale, the top hand down, back heel lifts up. And then step your back foot up to meet your front. Inhale your chest up. Exhale, fold into your legs. And then bend your knees. Your heels are heavy. Reach your arms up, Utkatasana. Inhale, straighten the legs. And release your arms down. You're in Tadasana. So again, I'm coming back to face you. We'll take tree pose on the left side. Start with the hands on the hips and come up on the ball of your left foot. And then rotating your left leg open, keep the hips pointed forward. Where does your left foot go? Does it come to your shin? 
Do you bring it all the way to the top of your right thigh? Some days balance is really challenging. Some days it's easier, but it's kind of good to do it every day. Hands can be on your hips. You can have a hand on the wall. You can reach your arms up. Keep connected to the breath, to your inhale and to your exhale. So keeping the breath as even, as smooth, as steady as you can. And maybe it's possible to breathe in and out through the nose. Maybe it's not. Draw the left buttock bone under. Take another breath in here. And then exhale. Come out of the pose. Come back to the top of your mat. I'm just going to leave my blocks up there. Coming into Tadasana. So your feet can be together. Your big toes touch. There's space between the heels. You could have your feet hips distance. Standing tall for a moment, chin is parallel to the floor. Inhaling here, exhaling here, and then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lifts your chest up. Exhale, hands to the floor, one leg and then the other goes back, come into plank. From plank, you could lower to your belly. You could come into chaturanga, that push-up pose. You could also shift right into down dog. If you were on your belly or the push-up, come into the back bend, up dog or cobra. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. And then lift the heels. Lower down to your hands and knees. Come back into the tabletop pose, hands shoulder distance, shoulders over the wrist, knees, hips distance underneath your hips. Inhale, your chest moves forward, shoulder blades towards your spine. Exhale, rounding, tailbone drops, head drops. Inhale, moving into the back bend. Exhale, rounding, spinal flexion. Inhale, the chest moves forward. You're stretching the front of your body. Exhale, you're rounding, stretching the back of your body. Inhale, move into center. And then bring your knees wider than your hips. Bring your big toes to touch. And you want to start to bring your hips back towards your heels. For some of us, the hips won't go to the heels. You could put a blanket behind your knees and shift back. You could take a block and bring it under your head and come onto your forearms. Allow your hips to go where they will. And for some of us, the hips go back to the heels. And you can rest your forehead on your mat or on your hands. You could bring your elbows to the side, stack your hands, rest your head on your hands or head on a block. Pausing in child's pose. Inhaling here. As you exhale, release in the face, maybe even in the neck. And then bring your hands to the floor. Sit up. Sit on one hip. Bring your legs forward. So we're coming onto our backs. And for me, it's helpful to have a blanket underneath my head since I'm in my garage, on my garage floor. <laughs> and bend your knees, come down onto your back, bring your knees into your chest, rock side to side, and then come to center, drop your feet flat to the floor, roughly hips distance, drop your arms down by your side, turn the palms up, take a breath in here, take a slightly longer exhale out here, your feet are hips distance, press the feet down, Inhale, lift your hips up, and exhale, lower your hips down. So coming in and out of bridge pose, feet press, inhale, lifts your hips. Exhale, lower your hips down. Feet press, inhale, lift your hips, and pause. You could hold on to the side of your mat and walk your shoulders under as if you're pulling the mat forward towards your feet. You could also walk your shoulders under, maybe interlace your fingers. 
Notice how your feet are on the floor. You might press a little more inner foot, a little more through the heel, send the back of your pelvis towards the backs of your knees. Exhale, lower down. Cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. You might stay right here in this figure four position using your right hand to press the right thigh away. You might thread your right arm through that triangle with the right leg and thread the needle. Your left knee comes in, your right thigh is still moving away. Flex both feet. Feel free to let your eyes close or soften your gaze. And then uncross. If your feet are on the floor, bring your knees into your chest, flex both feet and drop both knees to the left. And reach your right arm alongside your ear. I have a basket behind me. And you can think of moving your top right hip away from your shoulder. And then on an exhale, roll onto your back. Drop the feet flat to the floor, pause here. Cross your left ankle on top of the right knee. Use your left hand to move the left thigh away from you. Stay here. Or maybe you thread your left arm through, bringing your right knee in and still moving the left thigh away from you. Maybe your next exhale is a little bit longer. And then wherever you are, you want to uncross, bring the knees into your chest. Flex the feet, drop the knees to the right. And your knees go a little closer to your chest. And then you could reach your left arm up alongside your ear. Reaching long through the arm, let the left hip move away from the left shoulder. And then on an exhale, you'll roll onto your back. Keep your knees towards your chest. Keep hold of your right leg. Straighten the left leg all the way out onto the floor. Flex the foot. Then bring your left knee in and keep hold of the left. Straighten the right leg all the way out onto the floor. And then straighten the left leg to meet the right. You might bring your hands to your belly. You might have your arms down by your side. Maybe bring your legs wider than your hips. And if having the legs straight does not feel comfortable, you can bend your knees. Keep your feet wide and maybe turn the toes in, drop the knees against each other. So we're taking a short Shavasana. You can always take a longer Shavasana. Rest pose, corpse pose. And once again, you might close your eyes. You might soften your gaze. Maybe your next exhale is longer. Maybe it allows you to release further into the floor, letting go. Without the body moving, a lot of times the mind really starts to fill that space and move around. Maybe you just notice where it goes. And then very kindly and gently drop back onto your mat. It can be the movement of the breath in and out of your body that draws the attention. You might release in certain places in your body as you exhale. and rest.
You might be able to stay in rest pose. You might need to join me in starting to move your fingers, your toes, your wrists, your ankles. If your legs were straight, allow the knees to bend. And then roll to your side and use the top hand to press yourself up. Let's come back to where we started. So if you started on your shins, maybe come back to the shins or cross your legs. And bring your hands to your thighs. You might soften the gaze, look down at a spot on the floor. You might close the eyes. That sense of reflection, noticing how your body is. Notice how your breath is, the quality of your breath, and then just notice how your mind is at the end of today's short flow practice. You might inhale, let your chest lift. And as you exhale, maybe drop your chin to your chest and thank yourself for making space for a practice today. And I thank you for joining me for Yoga in My Garage, and I will see you next time. Thank you, and bye.